welcome to the Get Fit with Jodell podcast. I am, as usual, Jodell, and I am so excited to have Barb O'Neill back with me today. We're going to jump right in because this is a busy lady, and I want to make sure we can touch on all the different topics on menopause, perimenopause, women's health, and maybe even some children's health if we have time, because it seems to be these are some major issues that a lot of you out there are dealing with is just those hormonal fluctuations that are caused by so many things in our world today. So Barb is touted, and I love that someone calls her the most brilliant health teacher of our time. She's a remarkable naturopath, nutritionist, author, and educator, and someone I learn a lot from, and you can too. She has hundreds of lectures on YouTube as she publishes as part of her wellness retreat, so be sure to check those out. So let's jump right into it. Barb, welcome once again. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah. So talking about women's health and, you know, the, the perimenopause, menopause, I wanted to get your thoughts on the weight that women gain around that time of their life. You know, I hear it more often than ever now that it's more mainstream than ever to get that spread around the middle and the love handles and the hips and the thighs. Is it fat or is it toxicity? Because you teach about the laws of health and the steps that you outline in your lectures, which are brilliant, seem to be that we are quite toxic. And since our bodies wrap toxins in fat cells, maybe it's the problem that we need to clean up a few things rather than just diet and exercise, correct? Yes, I think it's, it's a few things. In his book, Wheat Belly, uh, Dr. William Davis shows that uh, the overuse of wheat is contributing to it because of its hybridization in the 50s. But it's also toxins and it's also a hormonal imbalance. And these two are really linked together because a lot of the environmental poisons we're exposed to today uh, have an estrogenic effect on the body. And estrogen is the hormone that has cell proliferator action, meaning causing massive cell growth. So it's these high estrogen levels, which unfortunately is so common today. It's also called estrogen dominance with its cell proliferator action, not only causing fibroids, um, endometriosis, uh, cysts on the ovaries, but also weight gain in the torso area. Yeah. That unfortunately is a, a common side effect. And, you know, so many ladies are frustrated because they've tried so many things to lose weight, but it's, it's still sticking on. And that's where balancing the hormones back plays a major role. Yeah, I agree 100% with every single thing you said. And I'd love to hear you speak on the, the ways that the body deals with toxins, such as like the lymphatic system and the liver, the importance of getting that those toxins out. What, what would you say about the lymphatic system first? Well, a, a lot of people don't know much about their lymphatic system. And it's basically the body's vacuum cleaner. It sweeps away waste from the tissues. But when the when the waste is taken to the liver and the liver considers considers it a little bit too toxic, it will, as you said previously, wrap it up in fat and store it. Now a lot of the toxins have an estrogenic effect, and as I also mentioned, and and so you've got a double whammy thing. You've not only got the estrogen causing the the excess weight, but you've also got the toxins have to be stored because they're a little bit too toxic to be released. So yeah, detoxification is very important. And a lot of people don't realize that the three phase of the liver detox demands that we supply a lot of uh, beta carotenes, antioxidants, that's fruits and vegetables are high in that, but also protein because the liver, the liver basically joins a lot of the environmental poisons with protein so that they turn into a water soluble state so it can be easily released. And also good fats to keep those cells supple. Mm -hmm. So it's it's quite a few things that come together when we're looking at slimming the waste down, uh, basically eliminating the environmental poisons. And with that, of course, linked together is balancing the hormones. So it's a little bit of all of that. Yeah, I, I follow even with my clients, something that you promote, which is more of like a detox approach of that three phases of the liver detoxification. Maybe mm -hmm. you can walk 
our listeners through uh, something briefly about how you address that because you use a day of juice fasting, then you add protein, then you add more certain foods in. Can you talk about that and how that three phase works? I certainly can. And for those who have my book, The Self Heal by Design, I have devoted a chapter to it. And what I talk about today will make it easier to read that chapter <laughs> because it can seem a little complicated, but I've made it as simple as possible. So our guests at Misty Mountain have two days on juices. So when the solid food stops, then the uh, fat cells start to break down and that's why it's really called a detox. Now, the reason why the fat cells are breaking down or being broken down by the liver is the body needs a little bit more glucose. Mm -hmm. Even though we give juices every two hours, it still needs more. And so the fat cells get broken down and the liver looks at that and says, uh, here's these environmental poisons again. And it's just about to wrap them up and store them again when it sees that, oh, they're at the health retreat. Oh, they're getting juices which are very very high in beta carotenes and so that that fat soluble toxin is broken down to a metabolite now metabolite simply means the first stage of metabolism or breakdown mm -hmm. and to cope with that stage because that metabolite can be fairly toxic and creates a lot of free radicals whereas the antioxidants they they basically neutralize the uh, the the um the uh the, it, the the anti sorry they neutralize the uh, the free radicals because free radicals are an electron short yeah and the beta carotenes come along with lots of extra electrons and so they give the extra electrons to the free radicals and now they are no longer free radicals I hope I didn't lose anyone with that no <laughs> no that, I I follow yeah. That's basically why the uh, juices are so important. You know, the carrot, celery, and apple, the greens. So the the orange and the green colored vegetables are the highest in your beta carotenes. Mm -hmm. So that's why we give those juices to cope with that first stage in the liver detox that you know creates those metabolites. Within thirty six hours of starting a detox, then phase two kicks in, and in phase two. The liver takes this highly toxic, highly toxic, highly volatile metabolite and it joins it together basically like this with amino acids and that produces the water soluble state. And that's what the liver's doing. It's breaking the fat soluble state, which is hard to eliminate, down to a water soluble state. So notice what I said there the toxic uh, metabolite with amino acids. So that's where protein comes in. And so that's why on the second day of the detox, we give three protein supplements that day. Mm -hmm. And that's providing the amino acids to mop up those toxic metabolites. And then the phase three, which happens in conjunction with phase two, is the elimination of this water soluble state. And that's why it's a really important part, I believe, of the detox program to do the steam sauna every night because in the sweating process, you're able to sweat out those water-soluble states. Drinking heaps of water, yes, for the, to prepare for the steam sauna, but also uh, coming out in the urine, the uh, water-soluble state, and also keep the bowels moving because some of the water-soluble states can come out via the colon. So that's a really quick summary of that three phase of the liver detox which really only has been known since probably early 2000s which explains why we really need to nutritionally support the liver as it detoxifies us yeah and everything you mentioned too the the beta carotene all the enzymes from fruit they support that lymphatic system too so does the steam sauna getting your body to sweat and moving that lymph in that way too and i know you're big on rebounding as well and moving yes. your body to get lymphatic fluids moving well we we say to our guests on the detox day try and rebound for two to three minutes three times a day Mm -hmm. Because as that waste gets swept away by the lymphatic system, 
the um, rebounder is the best stimulator for the lymphatic system and then it starts to dump it in those organs of elimination. Yeah, because unlike the blood system, that lymph system doesn't have a pump. So we got to pump it. And that's no. why that rebounding can be so beneficial. Now, the summary here is that people, women in particular, need to realize maybe it's not that you need to cut calories and maybe it's not that you need another hit class. Maybe it's actually that you need to detoxify your body and really get those toxins out. And I think that's so brilliant because you don't hear that enough. No, you don't. And please don't stop the hit. Right. Please don't stop cutting the carbs. They are a part. But for those ladies who've been so frustrated with that, um, that is playing a part. But detoxification and balancing the hormones are also necessary. Yeah. And I want to hear the I want the listeners to hear you talk about how detrimental alcohol is, because a lot of the women in this time of their life are stimulating themselves with coffee and then winding down at night with wine. And it really is not doing a service to their waistline, is it? No, no, it's not at all. You're far better to have the, the hot shower and the finishing with the cold. It'll give you a better lift than the coffee will and it won't give you a corresponding dump. We had a pathologist to our program. He said five cups of, I mean, one cup of coffee needs five glasses of water to, to um, make up for the dehydrating agents in the coffee. And, and of course, most coffee people put a bit of sugar in, which is another dehydrating agent. But alcohol, alcohol is another one on itself alcohol mm. doesn't do ladies any favors no. it's a major dehydrator along with coffee which means the wrinkles come too soon and the cellulitis uh, develops and you know uh, us ladies don't want either of those and the alcohol too you know it does kill the brain cells and the Australian Health Department, this is about 10 years ago, they issued a statement that there was no safe dose of alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, ladies, best keeping away from that and having sparkling mineral water with a squeeze of lemon. Right. <laughs> and know that in the morning you'll wake up happy, whereas your friends who are sipping on their champagne, <laughs> it won't be a happy home in there. It won't be a happy home next morning in their house. No, I agree 100%. It's not worth the feeling that you have to go through the next day, the puffiness in your face and all of the signals from your body saying you just took in a toxin, just like we've been talking about. Oh my God, it's saying, please don't do that to me. Yeah. Again. Right. Yeah, our body's always sending us signals, which I know you talk about in your lectures as well. And we need to pay attention to those because I think a lot of people listening to this know what they need to do, but they're not paying attention to the signals. They're just listening to the next, you know, big diet fad that's out there or the next biggest exercise craze that's out there rather than really keeping it simple and focusing on removing the toxic that's things, right. the non-native things from the body. And unfortunately, the ladies get discouraged. Mm -hmm. And when they get discouraged, they think, why bother? You know, and that's a terrible state to get to. Yeah. And then maybe they reach for the alcohol and the, and the caffeine then. But, the, you know, they're, they're not your friends. They're oh. the enemies. But there's something else I wanted to talk about that a lot of ladies aren't realizing. Eh? And that's stopping these these poisons going into the body in the first place. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to a word named nap. And if you have these fabrics around you while you're asleep, you will not nap very well. Nylon, acrylic, and polyester. Right. Three fabrics were, that were created in a chemical laboratory and they are affecting the hormones. They are getting those estrogens up, which is causing that extra weight to, to be dumped on the waistline. Mm -hmm. So please, ladies, please... Get a, get a magnifying glass and read your labels mm -hmm. or get a 10-year-old to read the labels. But, you know, now, I'm not concerned if it's 80 or 90% natural fabric and a little bit of elastine. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, a lot of underwear is like that and we don't want our underwear to hang off us. We want it to <laughs> fit our shape. So that little bit of elastine is is important for that but as long as the majority of the fabric is natural fiber and please ladies your bras have a look at what your bras are made out of my bras are made out of i think one's made out of viscose another out of bamboo which actually is viscose so i've got a couple out of bamboo and i love the bamboo undies 
And also um, you can get cotton ones and the cotton ones are quite nice as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, and- not, they're not as common, but if every lady made that decision, we'd see more natural fabric in our brass. Right. I'm so glad you went there because I actually had that on my list to tell you. I'm wearing my bamboo booty bra as we talk <laughs> because of you. I didn't know anything about it until I heard you speak on it. And they are. They're so comfortable and they're so soft. They're, and they're, they're well so made. Yeah. And they're so soft and great for great for exercising. Mm-hmm. And it's a nice comfort to know, ah, <laughs> this area is um is okay. And Please, no polyester blankets on the bed, no polyester yeah. sheets. Um, right. Go for your cotton. I've got yeah. some beautiful sheets at home that are that are linen and bamboo. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and that company we were mentioning is Booty, B-O-O-D-Y. And you guys can look that up because it is, this is, your skin is always detoxifying. And if you've got polyester, meaning many plastics on your skin, it, even though stuff is coming out, there's also stuff coming in, right? We're actually absorbing those microplastics, which are estrogenic, yeah. correct? And I have to tell you, because it doesn't breathe, it comes out, but it can go straight back right, in. Right, right, yeah. Now, this is this is most most unfortunate, and it's an area a lot of ladies aren't familiar with. Mm-hmm. And please, ladies, look at your girls. Look at what they're wearing. Look at look at their nightwear look and yeah you can get some pretty things with polyester but please investigate and say oh sweetheart it is a very nice nighty but let's have a look and see if we can find a natural fabric you've got to work with those young young ones and you know that they almost think they're invincible when they're they're young it's not going to happen to them right but show photos of yourself at at that age and say yes i used to look like you i said to my teenagers once I said do you know I used to be 16 <laughs> <laughs> well I remember yeah. And I know. <laughs> yeah you segued perfect into talking about children's health because how we raise our children now and the products we're exposing them to the the soaps the clothing and the food is very important to their growth too you know I say I'm seeing a lot of little girls developing breasts way too early let's talk about that well, way too early way too early and it can be the growth stimulants in the chicken in the eggs in the meats it can also be just too many wheat products too much pasta too much breads Mm. but also what they're wearing so it can be a little bit of all of that Mm -hmm. yeah and like you said it doesn't have to be hard to transition them because the the person bringing the food into the home the parent needs to be responsible for the children too. And instead of saying, well, my kids like this, so I buy it. Well, they don't have to have it. If you make the decision to feed them based on what you know is good for them. When they're 18, they can, 21, they can make their own decision. But you bring the food in, you get to decide what they eat. You buy their clothes, you can decide. You can help them be a part of the learning process. It's also working with them. I spoke to a group of ladies here in Dubai last night, a group of about 32 ladies. And uh, I said, ladies, whatever you do, don't go home and say, right, this is happening and we're not going to do this anymore. Yeah. And one day, said, I-, I was going to do that. <laughs> I said, no, you, you got to work with your family. Yeah. And you start cooking the most beautiful food. You start getting the, the, the rice, brown rice pastas. You know, the, you start bringing in food that is magnificent and beautiful and you start to win them. Mm-hmm. you don't go in and say right this is going we're not gonna no 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 your, your family's gonna run out the door and go to the first fast food place now you gotta work with them yeah and it takes some time to educate them and and show them I mean I even show my daughter videos on how the body works so that she understands in fact we as part of our homeschool yeah. we watch your lectures she learns how the gut works how sleep happens, you know, and then she can make her own informed decisions. So it really just takes a little extra time to educate them, but then they will want to be healthier. That's right. And the other thing is, if there's a little bit of protest, say, sweetheart, I love you too much. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But let's have a look at what we can get. You've got to, you know, work with that. It's like, uh, you never ask a child what they want for breakfast. 
you serve the breakfast and say, sweetheart, would you like chopped banana or chopped pear on your breakfast? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't do that to the 13-year-old, but to the <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, the, um, yes, there's choices mm -hmm. and they're very happy when they have choice. It's like the child feels they have a little bit of power and they're in control. But you, you provide the food, but they can choose whether they have uh, organic soy milk or almond milk on their milk. <laughs> so, you know, the choices are there and they're very happy because they have the choice. And I know my son, his, his, um, his new girlfriend had a seven-year-old girl and he said, I haven't come across this before, mum. We can't go because she can't choose what dress. So he went into the bedroom got two dresses out and said, which one? And if you don't choose, I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and another issue we see with kids too is a lot more ADD, ADHD. What stems from yeah. behind this in your opinion? How can parents help their kids um, have a calmer brain? It is, it is not my opinion, it's absolute fact. And there are many books that show this. And I've got, there's a few in Australia, but I know one American one is Dr. Bruce Fife, where his book, Stop Autism Now. His first three chapters, he analyzes this and every time, almost without exception, he comes up with the childhood vaccines. Mm. And I've also spoken to so many that say, my child was talking, my child was perfectly normal until this. Well, we can't change what happens. And the fact is that every parent vaccinates their child because they want the best for their child. Okay. So if someone says to me, what should I do? I say, I would go to the chemist and get a printout of what's in the vaccines mm -hmm. and then Google those names and you will see the neurotoxins. You'll see the aluminium, you'll see the formaldehydes. Mm -hmm. but also, if you're still not sure, whoever's going to vaccinate your child, say to them, could you sign this piece of paper, please, saying that you will be accountable mm. if if any if my child reacts? No, no, no health professional will sign that paper no. because they know. But I guess they've been taught too that this will protect the child, but the fact is that it does not. Mm. So now we're at the stage where maybe the child is autistic or attention deficit syndrome. In his book, Stop Autism Now. Dr. Bruce Fife, he shows that stopping the allergen foods, which is dairy, wheat, oats, oatmeal, peanuts, refined sugar, mm -hmm. he shows, and I've seen it myself, 50% improvement by just changing that diet. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at those foods, dairy, um, you can make some beautiful uh, almond pressed cheeses and there's almond and cashew yogurt and there's coconut milk there's many alternatives wheat spelt spelt sourdough and in america you've got that beautiful gluten-free bread that you can get from simple needs so just www.simpleneeds.com and he's in north carolina but i know that he's shipping to a lot of whole foods i think he's got a uh, he's got a contract now with um target so Many shops have his bread now, mm. and it will keep in the fridge for six weeks. Okay, it might feel a little hard, but you toast it and it goes light and fluffy again. It is the most beautiful gluten free bread I've had. So, there's, there's that for alternatives to wheat. And with the oatmeal, a great alternative is the Simple Needs Toast and Avocado for breakfast with fruit and nuts. That's real easy. <laughs> and there's also millet porridge, which is Easy cooked in a slow cooker overnight, one cup of millet to four cups of, of water. And that's very nice with a little honey and organic soy milk, chopped up fruit on top. So there's your alternative to your oats, peanuts. You can get almond butter, cashew butter. And yeah. there's so many. And alternatives to refined sugar, maple syrup, honey. Mm -hmm. So there's, so... It's not that you say, okay, kids, no more. You start introducing the other foods mm -hmm. and uh, you make the food taste fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's even a company that makes, the, it's called From the Ground Up and they make cauliflower crackers. And I've had my mm -hmm. parents switch out. They look like Cheez-Its. So I've had them keep the Cheez-It box, but put the bag of the cauliflower crackers <laughs> in the Cheez-It box 
so that the kids, the sensory, like they're seeing it and go, oh, these are Cheez-Its, and, but they're not getting the quality that they were I mean, before. You're, you're the eating lack them into it. If, they, if they're not used to brown rice, do half white, white rice, half brown rice, right. you know, and just yeah. ease them into it. If you're making a apple pie, you do, you know, half white spelt, half wholemeal spelt, mm -hmm. and then as time goes on, a little less white, a little more wholemeal. You just yeah. work with with your family win them yes and education is so key and that's why people can look for your lectures i mean you have everything under the sun when you youtube like barb o'neill and children's health or natural remedies or anything so i encourage people to do that and i want to respect your time i know you have an appointment coming up but where can people find your book too because that's a really useful tool to have so what we've got about another five minutes so oh okay Great. Good. We've cut, we've covered a lot. Yes. <laughs> so, um, my website, Self Heal by Design, you can download my lectures there. And that mm -hmm. also has my itinerary of where I'm going to be. But my new book, Sustain Me, we're hoping to be out in the next couple of weeks. Wonderful. And that uh, that's basically a handbook on natural remedies. Mm -hmm. And I start at the head, eyes, uh, mouth, ears teeth I go down through the whole body my aim was a handbook for home oh, and that will be out soon my daughter's website is Misty Mountain USA and you can get my book and my new book it's in the printer in Minneapolis at the moment so it hopefully will be available in the next couple of weeks and she also sells um, the comfort yam cream which mm -hmm. is the hormone balancing so uh that's uh, Misty Mountain USA. Okay, great. Yeah, and that hormone balancing cream, it can really help to knock out those excess estrogens we were talking about and get those hormones back in balance, like you had mentioned, for women during that perimenopause, menopause it, time of life. It, it actually does, from 9 to 90. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I like to explain it like mother hormone is progesterone. And mother hormone keeps the daughters, the estrogens and the son, the testosterone, where they should be. But these environmental poisons and contraceptive pills, they actually get the estrogens up and the mother hormone down. And now they're the ones that are causing the havoc. Mm -hmm. What the yam cream does is it works with the biochemical pathways that your body uses to reinstate mother. <laughs> reinstate <laughs> progesterone and once mother hormone progesterone is reinstated which the yam cream little by little does then the, then the daughters the estrogens are brought back under control but with a lot of people it may take a year to fully bring mother back to her rightful place mm -hmm. but we get feedback that women are starting to see results even within a month Oh, sure. Yeah. When you start bringing the, everything back in the balance, like the toxicity, the, the ability to move your body and get that lymph going, eating foods that support that liver detoxification and taking the right supplementation of hormones, then yeah, you can see it happen really quick. So I encourage yeah. you. To and, that, and that's when it starts to, um, when you get that feedback and the lady starts to get encouraged, then um then she's more encouraged to exercise, more encouraged to keep away from the alcohol and the caffeines, more encouraged to eat better. So it gets, you know, you've got this vicious cycle down where they get so discouraged, but then you can get that other cycle, you know, turn the switch, start to get the cycle going upwards. Yeah, and I love the laws that you present because it's not rocket science. It's like get some sun, detox your body, have lots of water, get your sea salt in. I mean, even if people do stuff as simple as that, they're going to see a difference in their health. So you keep it very simple. True. That that I think that's why we've got a worldwide shortage of Celtic salt because it's such a little thing that people can do that little bit of salt before the water and. I had a lady only a couple of weeks ago come to me and she said, I just started doing that and I don't have the edema in my ankles anymore. Right. Just right. that little change. Yeah. Yeah. Get those fluids moving in the body. Well, this has been great, Barb. And thank you so much for squeezing me in this morning or this afternoon for you. So um, I will, I will get this put together and get it sent yep. to you. Yep. And then that way you can share it on your end, but I'll get it out soon. So I appreciate your time. today. Okay.
Well, thank you. We've been able to. Um, uh, this is my husband, Michael. Oh, He's just the infamous Hello. Michael. Yeah. I've always I've always heard about you, but never met you in person. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Jojo. Yeah, okay. as you know, I'm probably one of a lot of practitioners that have followed your wife for like a decade. So. <laughs> Yeah, I've been following around for for decades. I bet, I bet she's yeah. kind of addicting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and she's a great she's a great cook, really. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I maybe someday I can actually go to one of your wellness retreats and be in there in person. That would be a dream come true. So yeah, yeah I'll have to, to look at cool. yeah, you <laughs> too. I'll have to look at your schedule and see where you are if you're ever in the Midwest. That's where I live in the states in the Midwest. So. Yes, yeah, so I'm back back in the US, I think about um, July. Okay, I'll look that up. Well, I'll let and you get I... to your appointment. You've been awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. I'm impressed with what we've covered in this short time. We were yeah. got straight to the point. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I like to nip it in the bud. So we did it. Thank you. Right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Wouldn't it be nice if dialing in your health concerns were easy? Yeah, with so many schools of thought out there and so many diets, so many biohacks, so many tips and tricks and really diet confusion, it's hard to know what's right for you as the individual. And that's where I would love to help you with a bio-individual pro-metabolic consultation. Yeah, I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it easy. I like to keep it affordable with so much in the world that's not. And so with a simple consultation over Zoom, I record your consult, I send it to you when you're finished so you can go back over it anytime you want. And during that consultation, I ask a slew of questions like a nutrition detective to get to the bottom of your bio-individual needs. All of this for $1.99. That's right, I told you I like to keep things affordable. I don't think that health should cost a fortune. I think that you know your body better than anybody and I'm there to listen to you and honor where you are and help you along the way. No two persons needs are alike. So no wonder your friend loses a ton of weight on keto, but it, you don't. Your body is completely different and together you and I will work on a plan that fits your goals, nutrient needs, your lifestyle, thereby creating an optimized lifestyle protocol that you can adhere to, not a diet. I don't do diets. I love to look at HTMA results, hormone testing, and I love to dapple in iridology. So you send me a scan of your iris and I can look at that and tell you what's going on in your gut. Again, the initial consultation is an affordable flat rate of $1.99. That's right. I like to be affordable and transparent in a world where nothing ever is. And I don't think it should cost a fortune to have a health coach walk you through and navigate your health. So if that interests you, let's set up a free 15 minute discovery call and let's decide if we're a good fit together. Or if you're ready right now, you can email me at getfitwithjodel at gmail.com and we can get you right on schedule. So for either case, whether you want your discovery call or you wanna get right on schedule, that's getfitwithjodel at gmail.com and I look forward to hearing from you.